uh, sorry for the technical uh, problems. Okay. Uh, uh, we are uh, the group that will present contribution to charity, a general study Islamic in Islamic Irish event. Uh, before that, I will uh, introduce the members in the uh, in this group. Uh, first of all, uh, Arfa Asfadia As. Hello, Adira Binti Mahmud. My name is Hanis Pratisha Binti Mishno. Nuri Fitra. Nur Hafiza. Okay, for uh, the introduction, I will be. Uh, I will. I will uh, say only a brief, uh, a brief breakdown about RHB. Uh, the rest you can uh, read it, and uh, and then uh, please take note about uh, several uh, several details in this uh, presentation because at the end of the uh, presentation there will be a quiz. We will use Kahoot, so make sure you um, prepare Kahoot. Okay, RHB Bank is uh, founded in. 1930, uh, known as Koi Bank, uh, known as also the first Malaysian, the first Malaya, Malaya, uh, Malaya local uh, bank, and then uh, in 1970, in 1977, in 1977, uh, it uh, we brand become uh, RHP. RHP stands for uh, Rashid. Hussein Securities. And then um, in 2005, uh, RHB founded the Is RHB Islamic Bank, perhaps that we all know now. Uh, and this uh, in this presentation, we will uh, we will present about the program, the um, donation program that is hashtag Derma program. Now, now I will move to uh, the next. The next presentation that will uh, present the literature review. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noa Fiza Binti Harun. So today I will present the literature review of our case study. Uh, we take uh, the reference from article and also the website, official website of RHP, oh, Islamic Bank. So uh, they have to expect that we come out, which is introduction of contribution to charity program from RHB Islamic Bank and also the origin and concept of the charity account. So, uh, in contribution to charity to charity program from HB Islamic Bank is, uh, uh, there are also uh, uh, zakat and wakaf in this program, and uh, there are also forty charities uh, that collect in this program. Uh, for example. Uh, yes, in class, Madrasa, Tafis, Darul Quran, World Hadith, and other else. For the second aspect is uh, the origin and concept of the charity account. So, yeah, actually, the charity account, uh, idea to make charity account has been around 1990s. So, because there are interests that uh, exist in transaction of Islamic Development Bank, so that's why charity account exists to send the society from haram, from haram element in the financial transaction. So this is a, this is the short explanation of the origin and concept of charity account. So that's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, so for the next part, I will explain about the methodology that we use. Okay, so we use qualitative approach, which means that uh, there are combination of library and document research, and also we use documentation from primary and secondary sources, like uh, like books, journal records, and any other relevant sources. So uh, I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, now we'll move to the SWOT analysis on RHP banking, RHP Islamic banking. Uh, we will we will start with uh, the strength. There are two strengths uh, for this Islamic uh, donation program, hashtag uh, Derma, hashtag Jom Derma. Uh, first of all, uh, this program partner with more than 40 charities organization. organization. Uh, 
which have the more uh, more advantage in um, gather more big audience uh, and big big partners uh, so that the program is stable and be, and can be used um, uh, continuously. And for the second uh, strength, uh, the use of QR code to make donation easier. As we all know that uh, now with uh, digital digital banking and uh, etc., uh, the use of QR code in donation can help um, can help the the customer or the user of RHB to donate uh, whenever they want or uh, uh, anywhere they want. So it makes it easier to donate and also uh, they will give a uh, like, uh, report and the program can be monitored uh, and the donation also can be uh, monitored by the bank and the report can be given to the uh, donator. Now moving on to the next SWOT analysis. So the next SWOT analysis is weakness. Uh, there are three weakness that we have that we found in this SWOT analysis, but still we uh, we understand that. The intention to make a charitable program is a good, uh, a good intention. But so we just come out the weakness in terms of the technical. So the weakness is like in terms of the technical performance. The safety and resolution framework are still remain under develop, and limitation of fund receiver. So firstly, it's like in terms of the technical performance. This could happen either pro either problem with the uh, system itself and also the international the inter internet connection sorry so the unstable and inefficient of the system might affect the customer to uh, to use the service that provide by RHB bank so next is the safety and resolution framework are still remain un and under develop so this not only uh, this is an uh, issue of scammer. Uh, this issue does not focus only on problem of the security of the uh, of the of the uh, of the system itself, but also the awareness among Malaysia Malaysia among Malaysia community to not share their uh, personal information to the outsider. So, next is limitation of fund receiver. So, uh, this, based on our, our opinion, this program definitely gives positive impact for the organization that need the fund from the public. However, the funds are limited for the organization that have RHB bank only, so does not provide uh, they does not provide platform that are general for uh, community to uh, distribute the fund or organization to take benefit of the fund. Okay, that's all from me. Okay, so for the next part is the opportunities that we get. So firstly, uh, they will get the customer's loyalty, which means uh, they will get uh, loyalty from individual <coughs> customers. They will gain a wide range of potential customers, which are uh, who are valued or support banks charitable programs. They are more likely to come back, and um, it will increase the company's income. Okay, so. Uh, the opportunities that they will get from the potential clients, which, means, which are business prioritizing, that uh, business that prioritizing on sustain, sustainability and social responsibility, and also the educational institutions. Okay, so for business uh, that prioritize the social responsibility, they more likely to choose banks that share the same value as them. 
and also for educational institutions like schools and also universities, they will decide to collaborate with um, a bank that has reputation for funding charities that support education. For example, they will um, uh, they will choose the Jongdama program, which also includes uh, educational purpose. So I will pass to the next presenter. Before I continue my presentation for today, I appreciate understanding that I'm experiencing some discomfort in my mouth today. So please bear with me if any speech is a bit unclear during the presentation. <clears throat> so, I will explain about the in sort of disease in threats. <clears throat> so, threats, economic down, um, so there are two threats in, in the RDG. In the, RH, in the RHB brand. So the first one is economic downtown and charitable movement and the use of advanced technology. So threat is uh threat is used in SWOT analysis uh, to refer to external external elements that have potential to cause harm and have a negative impact on the organization. Which means um, threats is from the out uh, 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 from the okay, sorry. Okay, it's an external the external factor, huh? The, it is from external factor which is that can affect the company. Yeah. So economic downfall and charity will give me the disease decrease in the amount of money which is Economic challenge like downturns can impact people's finance, which is um, like if a country um, uh, um, uh, facing a downturn, so it also can affect the charity, charity organization. Uh, how it's affect because um, the charity, um, as we all know, the charity, uh, uh, the charity, the laku can or um, voluntary. Um, people voluntarily do the charity. So, if the uh, downturn occur on the country, so it will affect the charity, the charity organization as well. Because people will um, focus more on their basic needs during the downturn. <clears throat> so, so, next is the use of advanced technology like Maybank, Apple Pay. Yes, um, to those who are using iPhone, um, um, for your information, Maybank have um, Maybank already uh, launched launch, uh, Maybank already launched uh, and <coughs> a, co a collaboration with banks with Apple which is you can connect your um, card, ATM card to your phone <coughs> and you can just bring your phone to the any any shops and just scan so that is the track for the IHP bank because the maybe more advanced from for, um, from them. Mm -hmm. So I will pass the presentation to the next person. Can I talk about cooperating analysis between IHP Islamic Banking and Bank Islam Rahat? First, charity giving. When IHP Islamic Banking introduced the John Dharma system to respond and the method used is through cashless and contactless. Distribution we are doing now. Meanwhile, the Islam Rahat introduced the Sodako House to raise funds, and the method used uh, to raise to collecting funds is the crowdfunding. Uh, crowdfunding that bring together potential contributor and charity initiative at the central location and provide service to collect, handle, and distribute community donation. Okay, for application. Uh, RHB Islamic Banking is limited to organization that register only. After evaluate their background, they are doing now QR will be displayed at the job drama system. Meanwhile, Bank Islam uh, provide us with a uh, multiple choice to donate for either personal or public purpose. In addition, that the clubhouse are the one who will transfer the money and receive to the design and the
Okay, for recommendation, Inter for Syariah, uh, Syariah Council and Syariah Supervisory Board, they are responsible for monitoring all Islamic banking activities and operation to ensure that they are Syariah compliant. For example, conduct uh, internal and external audit to to guarantee that no illegal element are added. Second, in terms of legality, the Sharia Supervisory Board must establish an effective supervision framework in order to supervise all Malaysian financial institutions. The regulatory bodies must compel banks to disclose critical information to investors uh, in order to improve financial efficiency. Uh, next, uh, in terms of operation, RHB Islamic Bank should work on technical issue. Uh, for example, the RHB Islamic education is slow to respond and make it difficult for consumer to make payment. As a result, the bank must always verify that the app is operational and monitor it on a regular basis. Plus, it, in terms of risk management procedure, uh, risk management competency are critical for Islamic Bank to strategically position themselves in the global market. To do this, Islamic Bank should improve their risk management method in order to devise a backup plan for an expected situation. I think that's all for me. I will pass to the next few lines. So as for the commission, uh, so as for the commission, the contribution that RHB Islamic Banking makes to charitable causes is firstly tied to a variety of elements including a global competitiveness, technical improvement, regulatory changes, economic factor, operational risk, and strategic adaptability. An institution that is well managed will be able to overcome obstacles, adjust to shifting circumstances, and capitalize on opportunities in order to preserve its financial stability and reputation in the market. So I will wrap this presentation with the quote. It's not how much we give, but how much love we put in.